Wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulihi kareem, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mabat. I greet you brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum. Id Mubarak, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. We thank Almighty Allah, the creator, the designer of all things, for allowing us to make it through the ninth month of Ramadan. New birth, new life. And we pray that Allah have allowed us to come into that taqwa that he says fasting is prescribed to those, to us and those before you, that he allowed us to come into this loving fear, a greater level of consciousness of Allah and our righteousness and goodness. And we pray that he will have mercy on us and he will guide us and that, 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 that he will bestow his blessings on us, all of us, in our community. And as we pray from Quran, Rabbana Atina Fi Dunya Hasanatain, O our Lord, O our Rab, collective, collective, Rabbana, even though we're not together physically, but we're together in spirit and we're all together on this earth as one human family. Rabbana Atina Fi Dunya Hasanatain, O our Lord, give us the excellence in this life. Well, fill accurate the and give us the excellence in the Akira, the next day and the next day. What can have that been now? And that's the Tukwa. And give us the Tukwa and protect to, to put us in the right frame of mind to protect us from the torment of the hellfire. So we say, Rabbana acting after you doing your Hasanatin. Well, fill accurate the Hasanatin. What can have that been now? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. So by the grace of Allah, even under these circumstances, COVID-19 and all of that and everything else that's going on in the world, it, nothing could stop Ramadan from being Ramadan. And this Id, Id al-Fitr, nothing can stop that. Allah has, has decreed that it is what it is. So we may have, have to make some changes and some sacrifices and some struggles but Allah knows best. You know, that's what Ramadan is about. Ramadan originally always fell in the summer, in the heat. It represents heat. The heat uh, purifying you, the purification from the heat. And so in this struggle at this time in the world to have observed Ramadan by the grace of Allah, and now to bring us to this beautiful, blessed day of the Id, Id al-Fitr. We're to be thankful to Allah for all that he has done for us. And Allah says his mercy extends beyond our comprehension. And again, always we pray for those who may have passed as a result of what's going on with this coronavirus, and we pray for their family to comfort the families, and may have struggled in other areas. So today, alhamdulillah, we have to make a few comments after we have performed the salat, the most important in the id, salat al fitr, the salat in this id al fitr, this time. Praying naturally. Fitra is the nature. Muhammad the Prophet said, so We're born in the fitra. And so naturally, Allah has put in us to make salat, to pray. Well, it was the formality that we go through or not, because Allah says, Every creature and the birds know its form, its process of worship, its salat. So Dear believers, being excited, and we would always say during the Id, after your fasting, Allah allow us to celebrate the returning to that original nature, the fitra, the fitra, which is embedded with the taqwa. So, just a few comments a little bit today. And for some of us, for some, it's your first time, 
actually performing. May Allah accept your prayers. And it was an educational time for us, too, because for many, for the first time, you actually perform the Ed Salat on your own at home. And maybe you didn't know how to do it prior to now because we were used to following an imam or something. So in this situation, for personal growth and development, so alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen, I know for me it's one of the first times in a long time that I did the did salat uh, in the house without leading the prayer or being a part of the prayer in the masjid. So Allah knows best with the difficulty there's ease, and there's always room for growth and development for growth and development and learning. And we thank Allah always, no matter what goes on, we may never understand all that goes on, but Allah is Latif, he's aware of the finest of mysteries. So, uh, dear believers, today the, the Id Salat, we want to just make note, the Id is in the 10th month. As we know, Ramadan is the ninth month. That's the fasting, the charity, the giving, the growth. And the ninth month. And as we come out the ninth month, we come into the tenth month, Shawal. And this tenth month is when we're performing the Salat. This is the Id time, the celebration of returning to the fitra, the taqwa, and all of that. It's in the 10th month when we're performing this salat and the celebration of what happened in the ninth month. Now, isn't that, isn't that interesting? It's, 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 it's associated with the natural birth. You know, the ninth month, as we've talked about so often, is when that child is born. And then when that child is born, there's always some kind of celebration, right? Uh, a kika, or some other form of celebration, naming ceremony. Most cultures have that after the baby is born. Now, so you see, the nine represent the birth. This is Muhammad the prophet in the ninth month was born into prophethood, right? And we know the most important day of Hajj is the ninth day, Arafat. And when we come down from Arafat, you clip your hair, it's like after you've been there, it's like you're born all over again, new life. So after going through and coming through the process of birth in Ramadan, cleansing and coming out of that, inshallah, with our sins forgiven and starting out again another year. So the 10th month, when we come out, there's a celebration. Alhamdulillah. I'm a new person. I'm born again. I feel this sense of taqwa. That would be us saying that, inshallah. So, that being the case, since this is the 10th month, and in this month when we do the salat, we do 12 in total, Top beers, totally unique from any form of the prayer that we do, right? We do, that's a lot. Twelve top beers in, the, in two rabbis. Seven and five, or five and seven, or six and six. All of that's there. It could be nine and three, but twelve is the aim. It could be eight and four, ten and two. But what's more, more known is the seven and the five. Those numbers, but the main objective is twelve. It's 12. But with 5 and 7, 7 and 5, we, we, we can see it all connected to the religion because we know that in, the, in, that in the month of Ramadan came five revelations. And we know we have five salat five times a day, five top here, Allah is greater. And the five salat came when Muhammad the prophet went to the seven heavens. And so we can, we can connect all of that. And if you look to Surah, which we know, Surah 5, Ma'ida, and if you look to starting with Ayat 112 and Ma'ida, right, the table spread. If you went to Surah 5 and the aim is 12, so 
So, you know, 112, I at 112, where it would start at, you would see this. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So if you're doing the five top beers, either at the beginning or afterward, uh, but the five is there normally, you would you it would say in twelve, Bismillahir Rahman Rahim, and we just read English till I get to the main point. Behold the disciples. The disciples said, O oh, Jesus, son of Mary, can thy Lord send down to us a table? A table spread, my either, right? From heaven. Now, there you go, seven. We know there's seven levels to heaven, right? Muhammad the Prophet attended the seven, right? But anyway, we're in the five and the seven. So, from heaven. And Jesus said, fear Allah. But he didn't use the word, now here, fear, there's several words, kashia, fear, but here, they're translated as taqwa. If you look over, you will say, it say, Jesus said, Kola teku lahe, en kuntu mu'minin. Fear Allah if you have faith. Now they're asking for him to send down from the sky a table from the sky. Sema'i. Send down, ask him to send ma'ida. Send down ma'ida. That's what it said. Send down a table from the sky. The seven heavens come down, right? They're asking him to ask his Lord. And then Jesus said in, in Quran here 112, he says, Oh, that taku, taqwa. Now you have kashia, other words for fear, but here, although they translate his fear, it's taqwa. And how did that, that tie by in with Ramadan? Because Allah says in Surah 183 of Baqarah, fasting is prescribed for you, just like we prescribe for those before you. It's about the taqwa, right? And then, like we say, the five and the seven is twelve. That's the twelfth month, which is Hajj. And Allah says concerning that, he said, take your provisions. We talked about that already. He said, but your best provision is taqwa. So here, just, just moving on, he said, well, have taqwa for Allah if you truly believe. This is in Surah 5. So you can think of the five top beds. And then it says, they said, we only wish to eat therefrom. And this is very beautiful. We only ask to eat therefrom, thereof, and to satisfy our hearts. If you read it on, satisfy our hearts, and to know that thou has indeed told us the truth, and that we ourselves may be witnesses to the they have miracle here of the table descending. But if you look over here. The words that's used when they said that we'll be satisfied, it says, This mukmaina, that's what mukmaina, and say, oh soul at rest. Next to mukmaina, right? Tranquil, peaceful soul. And Allah says of that soul, enter into my garden, right? And it's a nefs in the lawalma, but the third level. Mukmaina. So here they say, so that our follow, our heart would be tranquil, total tranquil, right? That's all they say they wish for. So this is all on the spiritual, not necessarily just food, but their, their hearts. It didn't say to quench their hunger. It says that their heart will be at peace. So there's some, so this table spread coming down is, is 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 not just physical food. It's like Quran revelation, right? And, and, and it says, so that we will know. Then it says, well, and and they say, be truthful, right? So that we will uh, uh, indeed that you told us the truth and that we are witnesses to that. Now we get to, we're still moving. Now remember this, id. And this is five. Five top beers, either at first or the second. But it all ties in. Ma'ida actually mentions Id, the Id, the celebration. 
And then in 114, it said, Jesus, the son of Mary, oh Allah, he, he prayed to Allah, oh our Lord, send us from heaven, send us from heaven or from the sky. Yes, he says, send us from heaven a table. Rub banner, O oh our Lord, and yes, and zil alayna, ma'idatan, ma'ida. Send down unto us from the heavens. This is what they asked for, right? He says, a table, mina sama'i, from the sky, and, and then it says, a table from the sky, that there may be for us, for the first and the last of us, a solemn festival and a sign from you. Now, the word that's here for festival, is this is what, what it says right here. It says, yes, he said, from the sky, lana, ida, ida, minasame, ida, kunu, lana, ida. Send us from the heavens so that we will have an ida, right? And... They say, it have an it and a sign from you, and provide our sustenance, for thou art the best sustainer. So here in five, right at all times, in, in sort of five, the word it is actually mentioned there, the celebration, the table spread that they spread for the id, right? And it's actually here, a table descending, right? So the word id, the disciples of Jesus asked for that, and they said that their hearts. So that's sort of five. And then if we want to look at the top beers and then go to seven, we know seven, seven is al-araf, the heights come from Arafat, etc. right? But anyway, just briefly here, since we're in the 10th month, the process I just want to kind of follow in this blessed time is in the 10th month we go to the 10th chapter and we kind of follow that okay to see Allah's mercy and always look for his mercy and know how gracious and merciful Allah is and, 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 and forgiving and as we know we're reminded that every surah of Quran except nine Bismillahirrahmanirrahim that's what I'm really trying to get to is uh, for us to always remember and reflect on, reflect on Allah is the most merciful and kind and gracious, the beneficent, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. So just to move along a little bit, sort of 10, since we're in the 10th month, right? And that's Jonah, Eunice. And it says, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elif Lam Ra. Tilga Ayat Tulikitabu La Hakim. That these are the ayats, the verses of the Book of Wisdom. You see how it referred right back to nine, to Ramadan? That Ramadan is the month in which Quran, a book, was revealed. So it has said, these are the verses of the Book of Wisdom. Of wisdom, when you're in Quran, you're soaking in wisdom. And then it says, is it a wonder, a matter of wonder to men, that we have sent our inspiration to man, to a man from among themselves, that he should warn mankind and give good news to the believers, that they have before their Lord the good actions they have advanced. So, alhamdulillah, the rest of the let us know this Quran that came down in Ramadan and we're celebrating uh, our observance of the fast and all that we went through in Ramadan. Allah says in that next chapter and nine, be mindful this is a book of wisdom. And now those who are amazed that such a thing came to a human being, Muhammad the prophet, but it came as a warning to mankind and good news to the believers. So this being the 10th month, we just take everything to Quran. 
Then, in Ayat 37, and Ayat 37 goes specifically to Quran. Allah says, Bismillah, well, you know, we said Bismillah, it says so often. Allah says, وَمَا كَانَ هَذَا الْقُرْآنُ This Quran is not such that can be produced by other than Allah. Quran, right? Other than Allah. On the contrary, it is a confirmation of the previous scripture, that which went before it, and a full explanation of the book wherein there is no doubt it is from Rabbi Alami. So, this being the 10th month, just wanted to read a little something from Surah 10. And as we are moving, brief comments here in this dead day, we want to go to now to Surah 6 and then move to 35 and 33 then close. Surah 6 is the cattle, right? And in Ayat 54, 54, just a reminder, something for us to walk away with in this blessed air day. In Ayat 54, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, keep this in mind for, uh, for all of us, from Muhammad the Prophet Islam and for us following Muhammad the Prophet Islam and, and doing what is said here. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah says to Muhammad the Prophet, and says to us through Quran. وَإِذَا جَاءَكَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِأَيَاتِنَا When those who believe in our sign, Muhammad Islam, and our ayat, جَاءَكَ When they come to you, when they come to you, when you see another believer, believe in the Quran, believe in Muhammad the Prophet, believe in goodness. When they come to you, you see your brother, your sister, when they come to you, Allah says, Fatul Salamu Alaikum. Say Assalamu Alaikum. You see, wish peace on them. This is what he said to Muhammad the Prophet and to us. When a believer, someone who believes in our ayats and our signs, Believe in goodness, believe in righteousness. When they come to you, it says, say, assalamu alaikum. But it doesn't stop there in that ayah. It says, kataba rambukum ala nafsihi rahmatan. And also say that your Lord, kataba, has written rahmah, mercy upon his soul, upon his very being. And we don't say, remind us of nothing else. That Allah tells us, brothers and sisters, how merciful he is. We know in each surah. But here, he says to Muhammad, the prophet said us, when you see someone who believes, who's a believer, give them the salams. Wish them peace upon themselves and their family. Say, but go further. Say, get their back. Get their back. He wrote. You know, we say, put the back, prescribe. The fast, kitab is book, ketabah, that Allah, that your rab, your evolver has written upon his nest, rahmah, to be merciful, the merciful benefit, to be kind and merciful, so always see Allah's mercy in everything. Our existence here today, every second that we have, we can't measure Allah's mercy. So it says, when when a believer comes to you, yes, giving them the salam. But he said to him, Get the bell, Rambukum, and their nessi here, Rahman. Also, let them know that Allah is not looking to just punish you for everything. Allah said, if, if he was, it wouldn't be a creature left on this earth. But remind them that he's most merciful. And then it says, and then it says, Alhamdulillah. It 
it says, and, and if you have done evil, if you have done wrong in the time of Jahiliyyah, out of ignorance, out of ignorance, if you commit a sin and did wrong out of ignorance, and then make thomat thelbat, that's what I read, thelbat, and then make thelbat, and that's sort of nine before this, right? Thelbat, and make repentance after that, and strive to be righteous, Allah is most forgiving and most merciful. And what do you see here? He says, Rahman, he's written this general mercy for everyone upon his neck. He's, he's obligated himself to be merciful to all of his creation. And then Allah says, of all of us, you, me, all of us, that's why we fast in Ramadan to cleanse ourselves and to wipe away our sins. So Allah says, if you have done something in ignorance, in a time what we used to call the dead world and all of that, right? If you've done that, but yet you may tell by you sought repentance and you try to do good, no, Allah don't hold that against you. He says, rahim, that Allah is all forgiving, most merciful. Always remember that. But we hear here Rahma on his nest, but he's also specifically forgiving of each of us as an individual if you strive to do good you strive to be right and that's okay so we wanted to just kind of bring that to our mind and all of this that Allah is most kind and most merciful now this is called it al fitra right the fitra Muhammad the prophet said we're born on the fitra the nature Allah is is called al fatir So just tying into that, so 35 is called al fatir Fitra. We're born on the Fitra. During Ramadan, we have Iftar, that's the Iftar Ra, right? The breaking of the fast. Allah says in 3030 that this is Deen al Fitra. Fitra is patterned after the human being. Fitra, I read it. It is, it is patterned after the same pattern of the human being. So this fitra is, is a lot, but it's, but it's the nature, the beautiful human nature. Muhammad promised that we're born in like the Muslim, right? And so Allah is the originator of that nature, al-fatir. So we'll just go to Surah 35, al-fatir, just touching on things that's related. And this is, we did Salat al-fitr, right? So this surah, al fatir Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, and we should always read Quran. We read it during Ramadan. Read it often. Always try to read Quran as much as you can. Muhammad the Prophet said, "I leave you two things: Quran and my life example. Whoever follow that will never go astray." And I always try to encourage people to read Quran. I even tell them, you know. Whenever your birthday come, read that sort of Quran. Uh, my birthday was that turned 62, so you read 62, that's Juma. And when you turn 29, read 29, the spider. If you, When your child is born the first year, maybe you might want to read Al-Fatiha to them, right? So always read Quran. That's our guidance, and that's what Ramadan was all about, Quran being revealed. Here in Al-Fatir, the originator. This one Allah says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Originator. Allah says, Alhamdulillahi fatiri samawati wal art. All praises are due to Allah, who originated, not, not created here or made, who originated, come up with the, with the non existing ideal, the originator of the heavens and the earth, the, one, the, the, the concept of a heaven and the earth. All praises is due to Allah, who originated the heavens and the earth. Yes. 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 Who have sent angels with wings, who have made angels messengers with wings, two, three, and four. Two, 
3 and 4. And Allah says that he increases his creation as he pleases. And he has power over all things. And we're coming back to mercy. You go back to the, you go to the second ayat. This is what we're trying to get. And Allah says, what Allah out of his mercy bestowed on mankind, none can hold it back. And what he holds back, none can grant it apart from him. And he is the exalted in power full of wisdom. So if Allah intends uh, mercy on you, brother, or on me, and we can look at somebody and think they're the worst person in the world, but they're around, they're doing all right, that's because if Allah, for whatever reason he wants, he has it written on himself to extend mercy to you and I, there's none that can hold it back. And if he holds it back, there's none that can send it forth. But here, when we look over into the language, the Quranic language here, and as you read, it says, what Allah of his mercy doeth bestow, they have that English, but here is what's, what, what's very important here. The language here, what's really used here. It says, man, yef tahi. Listen to it. Yef tahi. Fetiha. The, the ya, the, the ya just means present and future. Man, yef tahi lahu li nefsi rahmatin. Fetiha. So really what it's saying, even though I have bestowed whatever Allah opens up for you of his mercy. You see? So whatever he opens, it suggests that something is closed. So whatever Allah, and this word fetiha is opening, but it also means victory. There's a chapter called Fet, Fet, the victory. But also in the surah help, he said, when come to help of Allah, of Allah and the victory. So Allah says, whatever he opens up, as a victory for you to overcome what someone wants to keep closed. Whatever Allah opens up to mankind of his mercy, of his mercy, want to keep that locked away from you. Make you think Allah is just looking to torment and punish us, right? So Allah says, no, whatever Allah opens up, that's why that's important you look up. May yes, that he who, whatever Allah opens up, overcome with a victory for you of his mercy. There's none that can close that door, brothers and sisters. Always, that's why Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, constantly seeking his mercy. Like say, throw 